You're hard to the camera. There you go. Yep, you got it all smudgy. What's going on YouTube? We are back with another video and today we are going to be showing you some of the demo process. We have ripped quite a bit out already. So, the first wall we started to take out, we found this beautiful shiplap here. Our original plan was to take this wall out. I think that's changed now. Morgan wants to keep this wood. I told her we could take it off and move it to another wall, but she thinks she wants to keep this and just rip out this wall. Oh, there's Mia. This was the master bedroom with the closet over here and bathroom right here bathroom trust me we didn't really want to do a whole lot in this room um, because we're not going to make this the master bedroom this is going to turn into the guest bedroom because shouldn't turn that light off because we have a different plan still trying to figure out what lights run what this was the kitchen at one time i've started taking the cabinets out um, so all this is getting ripped out the next wall to rip out is this one. We gotta see if that is a load bearing wall. But what we did find is in the kitchen, Morgan is super ecstatic about it. So all of this wall is the same shiplap. And here is what we're turning into the master bedroom. This at one time was the old office and you can see it has a drop ceiling. We've already started to rip that out because it's gonna get us about an extra foot and a half of ceiling height in here. Okay, so we're in the master bedroom right now. You walk through into the master bathroom. Now this is all going to get ripped out. Vanity here, toilet here, and then from this wall all the way over there is going to be the shower. I'm going to set you down and I'm going to get to work. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now we go. Okay guys, so I took you off time lapse, uh, number one, because I had to go park a customer. Number two, I really wanted to show you this wood. Just look how beautiful this wood, and it runs all the way down. This wood is beautiful and we do not want to cover it up. We want to try and save it or leave it open, repurpose it, whatever. I'm keeping this wood. If you are ever in the market for a crowbar, pry bar kind of thing, this here is the Mac Daddy of all Mac Daddies for pry bars. You have a straight bar on one end, and then they call it a cat's paw or whatever on this end. So you can press this little button right here and move the head at all different angles. It's difficult to do with one hand, but yeah. <clears throat> so this thing is super versatile super strong i mean i was prying uh headers out with this and i was worried it was gonna bust these gears in here hasn't done it and i'm still putting it through the test but i tell you what shameless plug this is the best not to say i'm sponsored by crescent or anything like that but i would like a set of tools so there you have it found some more of this real beautiful wood um so my fear, because we were going to take this wall out, uh, my fear is that all this wood here is down through there, which I don't know what Morgan's going to want to do with that because <clears throat> she wanted this wall out. So if we find more of this wood, don't know. I'm going to keep plugging along. Um, I got someone coming to see if this is a load bearing wall. Don't think it is. Um, but I was concerned with this small little header here, so we're gonna find out um, Actually what that is. I wanted to show you this beautiful wall here 
and I know I've been saying the wood's beautiful, but this is being sarcastic. This is hideous. It's not even wallpaper. It's like the actual plywood. No, it's wallpaper over the plywood. That is the thinnest wallpaper. Where they painted it, I don't know. Oh, it might either be way, stencil. Either way, it's coming out. That is a horrible smell. <sighs> Oh, it's not the wood. Now we gotta figure out whether or not it's load bearing. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. So as you can see, the pile has grown. This is what is left after we've taken three roll-off dumpster loads out. Uh, but we've made a lot of progress inside, so we want to show you the update. So this is what used to be the bedroom with all the crazy colored walls. There used to be a closet here. You can see this is gone now. Um, and we are starting to take out this section of the wall. So from here over is going to be taken out. Uh, we've taken the drywall out of the ceiling and put in all these new cam lights. Um, that was possibly premature because we have to redo this whole ceiling. Um, but that's to come in the future. There's a little bit of water damage that we have to have looked at around the windows. Um, and I'm not a stucco guy, so I think it's coming in through the stucco. So we have to have a specialist come out and take a look at those, but that's what's happened in this room. So this here is a, looks like a massive hole in the wall. And it actually is, is because this used to be an exterior wall at one time. And this was a window to the outside that eventually got covered up. We are going to keep this opening as kind of a pass through from what is going to be the living room into the bar area, just to get some more flow between the two rooms. So this is the kitchen with no longer a wall here. <laughs> this is the wall we were gonna take out and we took it out. We've got a couple beams up above us, uh, but now this has become the kitchen. So it's wide open. As you can see here on the wall, we have electrical throughout and that's not only on this wall this is pretty much throughout the whole house we have a couple little things more to button up um, but we did find more of that beautiful shiplap in the kitchen so you can see all down this row here there's um, these are going to be lower cabinets and we're going to leave these uppers or um, we're not going to put any uppers in and we're going to leave this all exposed with some floating shelves and stuff like that we have a debate between all of our friends and families some of us want us to leave this exposed and some of us want us to cover this up so drop a comment below what you guys think do you like the ship lap or not so if you remember in the video where i said we're not going to have to do a whole lot in this bathroom we're doing a lot in this bathroom this is the guest bathroom um really i don't think we're gonna have to do a whole lot in here maybe rip out the tub replace that the surround replace the toilet flooring actually we're gonna have to do a lot here so as you can see a lot of stuff is ripped out the wall used to go to here um and it's a full bathroom currently what we're gonna do is this is gonna get shortened to about right here and put a wall and then we're gonna take the tub out and just use it as a powder room, I guess is what they, the fancy terminology for that. It's just gonna be a toilet and a sink. We don't need a shower right off of the kitchen. Condense this down so that we can get more room in the kitchen. So if you can see up above some of the duct work, we got all brand new uh, duct work, heat pump, AC, the full works. Issue is, is we can't use it yet because we got a few holes in the roof that we found that we need to fix because it's when it rains it's putting uh, moisture onto the drip pan where there's the sensor so it doesn't let it work so we have to get a new roof now. So what you're seeing right now is the bar room. Now we're not going to do a whole lot in here. We have to take up the subfloor, put some flooring in, put a few cabinets in for the bar. 
But as far as the fireplace and that kind of stuff, that's mostly gonna stay. Uh, we have to change the windows out, um, but I really don't want to revamp and take a lot of stuff out of this room. You can see there used to be a wall behind me with a sliding door, that's gone. So now you can see straight into the kitchen and we're trying to get a more open vibe going in this house because it was super chopped up. We've uncovered quite a few problems during this process. We found um, one, possibly two different fires that have happened in this house that have left a lot of the wood charred, which on the sidewall with the shiplap is, it's still structurally sound and it gives it kind of a cool vibe. We wanna keep that where it wasn't structural was up here in the joists. A lot of those were charred beyond belief and they had to go in with um, additional rafters and stuff to kind of shore up those um, back here. Behind me, you can partially see it. Um, they had to put in a couple beams, two exactly, um, two LVL beams, um, so it's engineered wood to kind of support the weight of the ceiling um, because there was really nothing supporting it. It could have caved in at any time. So another problem that we found was um, these floor joists were kind of built up over an existing floor here. Um, and as you can see, your floor should not be able to move that much. So that's why we have to take up the subfloor, reshore up the joists underneath, and then put new subfloor over top. Um, I think the reason that they built the floor up over the old one is they had to change out some of the plumbing as you can see right here um and they didn't want to run it overhead so they just thought it was best to build up the floor i'm assuming i don't know i haven't taken it all up yet Ugh, cobwebs got me all right guys so that's going to be it for today's episode as you can see we've done a lot over the past few months we still got a lot more to go and a lot of trash to get rid of Hopefully we get this out here soon because I got some plans for the garage that will be coming up in another video. Um, so until then, stay tuned. See ya.